Hello all, D Swank here. I am back in Space Engineers with my One Life to Live uh, reboot. And we've got a little bit of ways to go. My plan is I'm going to continue to uh, record basically until local time of... 110 or something like that up on the, the, can I, can I, there, yeah, uh, upper right, compass, up top, it says local 1244, yeah, and since I, I set the sun to have a 24 hour rotation, that is real time, so, I've got to figure out how to convert this thing into a rover. So I've got a lot of these blocks for use. Uh, do I? Okay, I am having to go through uh, that. Let's go to production. Okay, some things are different, so let's see. Let's look at the production blocks I have. I have assembly bench. This is the basic thing you have to load in. If you look at the the image, it's basically a picture of it. You have to you that yellow box is an input. Um, there's another input output. On the tray on this side, it looks like a conveyor belt, and then you have just a, a interaction menu in the middle, and it's you have to hand feed and hand pull stuff. Let's see, we have gravel compressor, which creates gravel ammo for some early weapons like light gravel turret, heavy gravel turret, and then laser turrets. And this is Clockwork, who put this together, so these are probably all based on his uh, uh, laser, uh, laser system, Clockwork's energy weapons, I believe. They're, they're pretty solid. Uh, let me go back to production. Uh, gravel Compressor, Rock Crusher, crushes stone and ores. Crushed ore can be refined more efficiently. Or purifier. Um, so you put ore in here and it gets crushed. Then you put it in the purifier. Um, you've got refined raw fuel oil into usable gasoline and rocket fuel. Your basic uh, ba basic assembler is now called the fabricator. Uh, you've got your assembler, survival kit, generator, and smelter. Uh, let's see. You've got a ceramics fur furnace to make glass and ceramics. Cement kiln. Okay. Maybe I didn't need the cement blocks. Block. Rock cage. I may not have needed the cement blocks. So I'm probably going to pull the uh, that out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if there's multiple cement blocks here. Uh, not that I see. Through progression. Admiral Suite. Concrete blocks. Okay. So there's multiple concrete here, so I'll get rid of one of those. 
something on the horizon over there. Oh, and something there. Alright, let's continue with the G menu look. Um, production. There we go. Cement kiln. Microelectricity. Electronics factory. Okay. Wire drawer to make wire, I guess, more efficiently. Auto loom. Plate stamp. Extruder. Uh, nano assembler. Munitions factory. Advanced assembler. Chemical plant. Bit bitumen extractor. Okay, so I have to build this because I know where oil sands are. Oil cracker. Okay, and an incinerator. I wonder if that gives power. Fuel oil. This... Crude oil from sand. Okay. So it go, I need to get oil sand, and it goes in this, that then goes into this, that then goes into this. Bleah. So that's a lot of crap I don't really want to deal with, but yeah. Alright. Hello up there. What's the thing that I saw on the horizon that way go? Don't see it. Oh well. Come on, will you crash? There we go. Alright. First off, open up the window. That was the shadow. Alright, so, let's, let's see what I can produce here. Steel plate, construction component, basic computer, electromagnetic magnet, copper wire. That's better than what it was previous iteration. Okay. Um, I might actually be able to do this, what I want to do. Um, so, I'm going to, actually, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to save this here, hop out, pull the AQD mod out, and then I'll be back the AQD concrete blocks, because there's already a concrete block in here. Alright, now I'm back. Let's see what we can do. We're going to start by running some blocks forward. I'm going to go ahead and weld them up, because more health that way. Alright. All I have is access to the metal wheel foundation suspension. Alright, good. Now, next question. Nope. I'm going to see how much of this I can just salvage off of the pod. I mean, a lot of the steel plates I can salvage off of here.
All right. Yeah. Now, I know that uh, between the last time I messed with this and now, they uh, just by... Bugger. That's going to be an issue. Well, I'm going to have to dig somewhere anyway to get some resources out. Not too deep, hopefully. If it is, I can always just place a block underneath it. Why did you not spawn in a wheel? Was I too close? Yeah, I was too close. Okay. Large steel tubes, I'll need five. How many do these have? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get those built. Will I get these built? Small steel tubes, wire, maybe. What could this produce? Okay. So, let's see. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna pull you because I need. I'm gonna have to pull this. All right. You know, I might as well at this point before I do too much pull this forward one as well. All right. Let's get this all welded up. See about putting a couple of wheels on it. Now, the suspension will work without the wheels being built on. I just have to be very careful. Alright. So... I'm going to have to do a little bit of digging. Again, hopefully being very careful.
All right, let's see. I thought I'd have enough Oompa to just, like, pull forward. Uh, suspension. Let's see. I wonder if I just max that one out. And it's not even on the ground and it's not spinning, so that kind of sucks. Okay, well... Shit. Looks like I'm going to have to uh, build a little base here. Alright, so, I got this little pop-up base done. I'm pretty close to having everything needed for getting on the road. Uh, basically, I need small steel tubes. Six small steel tubes to get the... Fa uh, the, the Suspensions going, and then I'll need all the stuff for getting the wheels going. So, let's see what we can produce. Uh, acid power cell, copper wire, electromagnet, heating element, light bulb, basic computer, construction component, large steel tube, motors. Oh, that's cool. Um, radio component, steel plate. Small steel tube. Pretty sure that's how it was before, though. Now that I think about it. Was that... Uh, motors used a... Uh, electric... That stuff. Alright. I am going to... Real quick, craft six of these. So that next episode... All we need will be getting the wheels. That. What? Did 
Did I accidentally throw the... Yeah, bugger. Well. Alright, let's try this again. Yeah, my, my goal is basically to get these up and running. Now, I wonder. Can't do much. Still. I wonder if there's something I need to do. I make you main cockpit. And... Well, let's put you back at like 60% power. Yeah, none of them are turning. Uh, off the top of my head, I have no idea why it's not working, but I'm also going to create... Okay, one, no, one life to live. Okay, except, except peace, let's Accept, 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 accept. So we're currently at peace with this group. Hopefully we don't... piss too many of them off. And we'll be good. So... Until next time, um, we've kind of got this, this junky little base set up. I'm gonna... Uh, no. V. There we go. Alright, and I still have control of the camera. So, yeah, we're good. We got a rover. We got a windmill. We got a little crafting station. We got to put the wheels on this. But after that, we should be good. And my plan is actually to head over towards those mountains over there. Uh, I believe, yeah, I haven't torn down the... Uh, the that thing yeah the ore detector so we'll keep an eye out for any sort of resource that would be useful between here and the mountains and uh, hopefully find a good place to bunker down and call home so until then bye bye